Welcome to video number one in the RunnerX Studio Actions video series, Introduction to Actions. Basic actions represent direct user input with or on a device such as key sequence, mouse clicks, mouse wheel and key shortcut. Examples for mobile testing include touch, swipe gesture and mobile key press. Smart actions represent more complex UI interactions and functions. For example, the validation we see here for desktop, or the deploying of an app or setting device orientation for mobile. The actions table is where actions are managed. To make identification easier, a screenshot of the UI item can be viewed. The repository item linked to the action can also be viewed. RunnerX uses repository items to store the structure of a UI and access it. This way, RunnerX can perform actions on repository items and, consequently, on UI elements. If we now turn our attention to some other examples of the many available actions. Please note, a full list of actions and their properties can be found in the how-to guide, details of which can be found in this video's description. Other smart actions include invoke. This directly invokes an action on the referenced repository item without any simulated UI interaction through mouse clicks, key presses, etc. Especially useful for accessing UI elements such as items in lists or drop down menus or buttons in windows that are not in focus. Get value. This retrieves a value from a repository item attribute and passes it to a variable. A common scenario for using this action is retrieving a value that is the result of a particular interaction. You then pass this value to a variable that's used in a validation that checks whether the results of the interaction is correct. Set value sets a repository item attribute to a defined value. Depending on the assigned repository item, the available attributes change. The value can also be masked. Open browser. Starts a browser, instruments it and opens the specified website. Wait for. Waits until a defined state is reached within a specific time. Log message. Logs a message to the report or captures a screenshot or RunnerX snapshot. User code. Adds a user code action. You can add an existing user code action from the user code library or code one yourself. In the next video in this series, we will learn how to manage actions.